Okay. We're running the most dangerous experiment in history right now, which is to see how much carbon dioxide the atmosphere can handle before there's an environmental catastrophe. In order to have clean air in cities, you have to go electric. These are two quotes that Elon Musk, co-founder of Tesla, said he believes going electric is key to the future. Electric cars are the evolution helping the Earth's climate, thus creating a more stable and colder environment. You can reduce the emissions being trapped in the Earth's atmosphere with solar energy power. I myself have been participating in events to reduce Earth's emissions. I have helped spread awareness of the dire state Earth Earth's in in public places. Furthermore, I will explain the importance of the electric cars, the greenhouse gas, and the impact that, that it has on Earth's environment. There are new companies developing and making electric cars even better than fuel, ga gas fuel cars. However, gas fuel is dominant to the society as we know it. According to the United States, the Environmental Protection Agency otherwise known as EPA, states that the transportation takes a total of 29% of greenhouse gas gases emissions in the atmosphere as of 2019. The greenhouse gas makes the heat trapped inside the Earth's atmosphere. It absorbs infrared ra radiation and it has an effect on the water vapor that is important and crucial for the climate of weather. The gas that creates the greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide and chlorofluorocarbons, uh, um, otherwise known as Fion. Um, the total emissions from the United States is roughly about 5,107.26 tons, and U.S. is second with the um, highest of, of emissions being um, contributed to the Earth's atmosphere. The first being China, which they take roughly about 11,535.20 tons. The world is spiraling out of control with the quantity of emissions being trapped in the Earth's atmosphere. Then again, the world was never a perfect place nor a place of destruction until the use of modern, te modern technology. Humans create and use technology, especially fossil fuels, as a quick resort to create their own products. The inventions of car assembly, which was created by Henry Ford, to inventions of gas-powered engines, um, which was created by Carl um, Frederick Benz, or and more around the late 1700s and 1800s as they progress. And the more they progress, the for more forever they involved different categories. These figures will lead the mass prediction of cars for the next half century, um, and we need to stop. Um, the gas fuel cars from being protected. We need to make all 7.7 billion people to switch to electric to break the loop of gasoline cars. Then again, let's not forget about the 29% of emissions that are, that are, in, that are being uh, contributed to, from the gas fuel cars declared from EPA. They also report that roughly about 90% of transportation vehicles are petroleum based, otherwise known as gasoline or diesel. Furthermore, other, uh, other emissions that contribute to the greenhouse gas emissions are the following. Electricity, which is 25%. Industry, which is 23%. Commercial and res residential at roughly about 13%. And agriculture at, ten at 10%. People need to switch in order to make a difference. Everything takes time, and so will a major transition. But what will happen if you don't transition? Not transitioning will continue to destroy the Earth. Summers will continue to get hotter. The glaciers in the north and south will melt and leaving many animals to die off. And we will breathe in heavily carbon dioxide, which is bad for our bodies. However, reducing the, the use of fossil fuel cars will help. You could use it when you only need to. You could use it, you could only use, you could use tra public transportation. Or if you don't want to use public transportation, then you could hitch a ride off a friend who's going off the same direction as you are. Another way is to convert to ele electric cars with renewable energy. It will be like buying a new car that will help the Earth last longer. The evolution of electric cars is currently underway. 
Tesla already has a few cars that are electrical, such as the Roadster, the Model X, the Model 3, the Model Y, and the, and the Model S. With them as the leading creation of electric cars, other companies will follow as well as Toyota with the RAV4. With the increase of temperature disrupting the climate every day, a safer and substitution energy is needed to greatly reduce the carbon dioxide being trapped in the Earth's atmosphere. Switching will be good to, for the environment. Electric cars will make your bills cheaper as you won't rely on the ever-growing price of gas. And according to Ping, in the article of Synergy and Co-Benefits of Reducing CO2 and Air Pollute, emissions by promoting electric vehicles, they discuss the difference in cost between um, electric cars and fuel cars. It was discovered that roughly about 77.6% of energy consumption rate was um, lower than, than fuel cars, and the air quality was more cleaner. The greenhouse gas was reduced by by 48,851 tons by electric buses. It was reduced by 33,066 tons by private cars and 21,160 um, tons by taxis. Keep in mind that all three of these cars and the reduced tons were made by electric cars. And that's a lot. So buying an electric car will be costly. However, it will save time it will save money over time than that compared to a fuel car. So and companies are making it affordable such as Tesla. But what happens if you already bought a car? Well you could trade it in at Tesla and they will give you credit for buying a new Tesla model. Uh, dealers can do the same thing depending on their policies. Now, I want you to picture this. Think about the glaciers in the North and South Pole being restored to its prosperous magnitude. It is filled with wildlife that you can never imagine, and their environment and habitats are danger free. With the um, sun of shine, shining all over them. Now, think about the multiple animals that would go extinct, such as polar bears, penguins, and so on and so forth. Their habitats are ruined from the ever rising temperatures. Glaciers will be will become water. So, and everywhere else will become even hotter. It will become even more drier to live on. So, which one would you prefer? Now, you have now you know the effects of emissions have on Earth. Just switching to an electric car will greatly reduce um, emissions being sent to the greenhouse gas. It will be energy cost efficient, it will reduce emissions, and it will help prevent climate change from becoming worse. Saving the environment is a complex yet simple matter. It is complex because as it needs the majority of people, the 7.7 .7 billion, to convert to electric cars, but it's simple because all they have to do is just convert to a car. I myself am currently trying to buy one of these Tesla's cars and um, from saving up from all the money I get from the grants and, and my job. Now, just ask yourself, would you want to destroy and possibly make animals go extinct just because of driving a gas fuel, fuel car? I don't think so.